The Central Spartans girls soccer team finished a regular season 16-1-1 and, and claimed their fifth straight Imperial League championship. Now last week, that's when that took place. This week, they have a chance to do something no other team has done before them, advance to the Division III semifinals. The Spartans were awarded a number three seed and an opening round bye in the CAF San Diego section Division III playoffs. The Spartans will play Friday night at home against Oceanside. The sixth seeded Oceanside Pirates squeaked by San Pasquale last night in overtime. The Spartans will try to advance to the Division Three semifinals for the first time ever, and head coach Ramon Lopez says his team is ready. This year, my girls, even my freshman girls, it seems like the momentum is there, the excitement is there. They have bonded so well together that I have to say, break that barrier, and for them to become the first team to make it to the next next level, not only be hopefully the first girls uh, high school team in the Imperial Valley to win CIF, but also to be able to go across the, the, the third round or the second round, I'm sorry, of CIF. So they, they're, they're motivated, they're ready to go. The quarterfinal showdown takes place this Friday at five o'clock in El Centro. We will be there to provide live coverage in our four and six o'clock newscast. Good luck, Spartans. In boys soccer in the CIF San Diego section division two playoffs on Saturday, the nine seed Central Spartans were eliminated by the eight seed Carlsbad Lancers four to one. The seven seed Calexico Bulldogs knocked off the 10 seed Sweetwater Red Devils two to one. The Bulldogs advanced to the quarterfinals and next face the two seed and undefeated Eastlake Titans on Saturday. Now in prep softball, the Valley's in the Valley tonight, a shocker central as the Southwest Eagles handle the Holtville Vikings and their first loss in the Imperial Valley play. The Eagles win by a score of 8-1 to one, and in Calexico, the Lady Bulldogs shut out Imperial 8 nothing. The Bulldogs are now a game over 500 at 12-11. and 11. To Major League Baseball, Eric Hosmer and Fernando Tatis back in the lineup for the Padres hosting the Rockies at Petco Park this afternoon. Let's go to the bottom of the second, shall we? Fernando Tatis with the nice flexibility in the stolen base. You'll see it right here. Yikes! I don't know if I could ever do that, Christian. You can do the splits. Let's see it again. Stolen base. He's still safe. Ouch. Well, it would stay scoreless until the fourth, but Fernando Tatis changes the scoreboard with this solo home run to right center, giving the Padres a one Nothing lead. Now, El Cajone native, Joe Musgrove, well, he had it going for the Padres today. In the fifth inning, Musgrove strikes out Hampson looking. Then, let's move on to the sixth. Musgrove again. He'll strike out Nunez swinging. Now to the home half of the sixth and Jake Cronenworth. Take a look at this. Watch what Crony does here. High drive, deep right field, and it's going to ricochet off the top of the wall. And he's going to try to run all the way around the bases. He's going for an inside the park home run. He's around second, rounding third. They're saying, go, go, go. He's coming home. And he is safe inside the park home run. That's all the time we have for sports. We'll be right back.